what do I feel that's a loaded question I feel not good enough that's a thought what's the feeling that stems from this not feeling good enough I feel sad I feel jealous and I feel this way consistently throughout the day every day I feel that I'm not funny I feel that I'm too serious I feel that I've lost something I feel lost. I don't know who I am anymore. That is a thought. The way I feel, again, is I feel sad. I feel powerless. Even though I know it's not true. I compare myself to others. Why? I'm not feeling worthy and I'm looking externally to validate myself I feel there's never enough time in the day for my work I feel that I am unproductive (laughs) well why do you feel unproductive when you are always working I feel unproductive because I'm not seeing the results externally. And I've always felt that I've been trying to make myself not care and to detach, but it's not true. When was the first time you felt this way? Feeling sad, feeling powerless, feeling like you don't know who you are, feeling lost. I mean, the very first time I felt this way. Going back, I feel that When I lost one of my good friends, which pushed us in separate working paths, which wouldn't be a big deal if we, there wasn't some kind of like anger and hurt feelings entangled with the separation. If it was just a natural separation, then I feel that it wouldn't hurt as much. And I feel shame. Even though I feel my feelings and I would make the same decision all over again. I feel shame because I feel that others would shame me. So once again, it's turning right around to seeking validation from outside myself. How do I feel? I feel sad. I feel... Powerless. I feel stuck and trapped. <sighs> Leading back to powerless. The last time I felt that way, even taking it back, even before that pre that incident I just mentioned. The last time I felt sad and powerless and weak was
think when I was in college. <sighs> Jealousy, comparing myself to others. <sighs> Being older, I always feel like there's like not enough time. By the time I was actually away at school, I was started basically through transferring credits and stuff like that. My freshman year, we're starting over with astrophysics. I was 26 and going to school with a bunch of young, from my perspective, young, entitled, well off. And I felt like my work suffered because I never had enough time to do anything because I was always putting my time elsewhere with work. I mean, having to sustain myself. Never having enough time for myself. feeling powerless, feeling sad and jealous of those around me that were in better circumstances and asking myself, why me? Not feeling good enough. When's the last time before that you felt that way? Just gonna go back deeper and deeper, not feeling good enough, looking externally for a validation. When's the very first time you felt this way? <laughs> when is the very first time you felt this way? When is the very first time you felt this way? Probably, at least, I don't know if it's the first time, but the last time, if you're just backing it up, was when I was in D.C. Right before I moved to Colorado, and I was just doing a lot of cocaine. And partying. I mean, obviously, when you do cocaine, that's partying. And just like doing the same thing every day. And not being able to wander. And I felt really 
stuck and really frustrated like powerless too many bills not enough money there was a time before that not quite sure if I really really want to dig deep I could say because it definitely keeps coming up in my mind was when I was younger and there would be times where I would compare myself and to my mom and my brother and my brother's dad when my mom my my brother's dad were married and I was just kind of like why me why can't I have an actual family why do I have to be the outcast because they had their own little family from what I assumed obviously it wasn't true but that was my illusion of being alone and no one understood me And this is really weird because, well, before I even go there, I have always had this like weird jealousy or just why me when it comes to the family I was born into or just this reality I was born into and how some people just, you know, they are wealthy due to bullshit and what I feel is that I am trying to I am it's not even I'm trying I'm actually doing my purpose and my path and I feel that nobody cares and I know that at the end of the day I should be doing this for me and that's what I try to come back to but it feels not true like the idea the concept the thought feels true I know it's true but I can't feel it in my body and in my heart and I'm not really sure why and I mean obviously it's the nature of society and how we're conditioned to work, 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 pay bills, you know, pay bills and die, and I want to travel, and I want to do my life's work, and not have to worry about shit, and that sounds crazy, I'm sure, because everyone worries, and life's not that easy, but I don't understand why it can't be And so what I was going to say before was that, like, I have always felt like an outcast from my family. I've never felt connected to ancestors, and I just felt like in a room full of people, I'm the only one there. And there's very few people that... I'm very present with or I feel that's very present with me but there are times too where I'm just like but why don't you get it or why still so close and but then I'm just the only one and that's just a part of my test and learning how to heal my relationships relationships how to integrate you know, into the physical plane. I do feel that I'm a first timer here. And I've learned recently about the ability of even when you're a first timer, those who are first timers, you will have what feels like to be memories, but they're essentially false memories to give you a basis on how to be human you know something to relate to something to you know 
give you the experience to help you execute whatever purpose and intention you may have for this life in a body, this first time in a body, this late in the game. And usually I have understood that it is for individuals who want to, or not who want to, but who are here to help um, the collective and help them, you know, wake up. So that's probably the first time I felt that way, felt alone, felt powerless, felt sad, was when I was young. So where do I feel it in my body? I definitely feel it in my face, particularly the jaw and the throat. I feel it in my back, neck, torso area. So probably from the mouth down all the way to, you know, my root chakra. So root to throat is where I feel it. And I would say specific chakras would be throat, root and sacral my heart I feel good what color is it what color do you see this feeling as and I see red like dark red red black brown, all of these like deep dark colors, I see this feeling, which for me can make sense that I've been disconnected from my root chakra, root and sacral. What do I fear? I fear that I will never be good enough. I fear that this is always going to be an issue. I fear fear that, you know, die trying comes up where I fear that I will always be playing catch up and just like one step behind and that my voice will be unheard. And that no one will listen, believe in me, or most importantly, want to work with me. That's my fear. What does this mean for you? Or what did you make this mean for you? This means that uh, I don't really know how to put it in words. This means that maybe I won't ever be happy or grounded or Or, I guess, loved? I don't know. On a bigger scale. I definitely feel love from individuals. And from intimate partnerships. Is it true? I don't think so. I don't know. Initially, I say no, it's not true. I feel that it's only true if I believe it to be so. 
what does it look like if it is true? It looks like a practice of solitude. <clears throat> it looks like wanting to check out. Not hurt myself, but like <sighs> just wanting to hurry up and get like this life over with because I want to go back to where I came from. <laughs> and it might sound crazy, like, but <laughs> I really don't feel like I belong here. It's fucked up. I feel like things are too far gone here and I become overwhelmed because it's just like not enough time. Time is so limiting. I spend all my time doing the work and it just like seems like it doesn't even matter, I guess. <laughs> What can I do differently? I can do the worst case scenario and just continue to, which is not the worst case scenario, but the worst case scenario, which is it being a solitude practice, which isn't really that bad. But the fact that I'm in tears right now and recording this is really speaking to me that I desperately want to work with people and it's hard, but lately I've been just so frustrated with people. So what I could do differently would just be to have the intention of what I did initially would be to do the work, put it out there, and just let it come to whoever it needs to come to. That would be neutral for me. Neutral for me would be to continue, but with no emotions, or not necessarily any emotions, but no expectations to the outcome. I'm going to just do this because I love doing it, which would free up time for doing things for myself and not being frustrated of my other responsibilities. Um, what am I not seeing? What am I not seeing? I'm not seeing all the people that do support me and have my back. Um, I'm not seeing truth. I'm not seeing love for myself. I'm not seeing how worthy I am and how I am helping the collective. So what does it look like if it is not true? 
what I'm feeling, what would this look like? And I think it would look like, I mean, I'd be doing the damn thing. I'd be busy with clients. I'd be busy, you know, with my own work. I feel that, and it's not that it can't happen, but once again, there's that whole time thing where I'm 34 and and definitely progressing, but just not at the pace that I would like it to be, which is creating this negative reaction to my experience. So what can I stand to learn from this? I need to learn to seek validation within myself to let go of attachments and to take everything moment by moment and to also enjoy myself because Life on earth is not just about only following your path. It's about enjoying being a human. Enjoying the experiences that I do get. Whether they're happy, sad, you know, all over the spectrum. What is good about this... What's good about this is that I feel a bit more clear. I feel that I am facing my emotions. I know that I'm facing my emotions, which I thought I was, like I truly thought I was ever since, you know, the very most recent time I, you know, that pushed this into um, push this up to the surface again. Um, I felt like I was processing my emotions, but I was letting them control me, I guess, in a way, instead of working and flowing with them and not really giving my emotions the time of day, being just moving all around. And now, I am, I feel good about this because I feel like I'm letting go, that I am facing this and I'm transmuting it. What is now? Now is clear, honest. Now is being true with yourself and understanding that inner security, emotional security is first and foremost and most important before I can help anyone to the capacity that I am desiring to to help that's now <clears throat> 